Oscar and Cassius for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. It's the morning of the weigh-in for Michael Conlon's homecoming. I'm joined by Danny Vaughan. Oh, good cook. How are you? Well, wasn't mate? very well yesterday, were you? No, we had to just say I'm being I'm, yeah, upset stomach just to leave it at that. I was going to try and come and interview in the middle of it, but I thought yeah, I'd get a left hook. You would have been, been in the middle of it. <laughs> and it funny, when, when you're in that state, you don't want to see or speak to absolutely no, anyone, do you? Up, upset stomach's really bad and... It's only about three miles to the toilet, I think. Yeah, I think everyone's been in that position at some point. <laughs> um, Danny, first of all, um, MTK Global announced uh, 12 fight dates with Box Nation recently, which is absolutely brilliant. Fantastic. Um, and yeah, it's a step in the, the sort of next phase of uh, everything that's evolving around MTK Global at the moment. So yeah, yeah talk to me about that. Yeah, yeah well, you know, they've done the year. Uh, 12 fights here with Box Nation. I have now just got my manager's license, get my promoter's license, and I'm doing my first show on the 24th of August at the Emirates Arena in Glasgow. Yeah. So, like I said, there's been um, a lot of the MTK show nows, uh, especially the ones on, on BT Sport and with Frank, have got such a heavy influence uh, with MTK. A lot of the fighters being topped by MTK fighters now, but this is going to be kind of different in the fact of this is all MTK fighters yeah. that are, are fighting uh, on these shows on Box Nation, which is great exposure for them, first of all. It's brilliant. This will be the first show on Box Nation in the deal what we've done with Box Nation. Um, it's going to be top the bill by um, Willie Limond fighting Darren Foley from Australia. Could put Willie back in the top 15 in the world. You've also got a cracking fight with Ronnie Clark, David Oliver Joyce for the IBF Super Featherweight title. Um, the undercard stack with like the David Brophy, Kieran Smith, and a couple of other kids on it. So it's going to be a cracking, cracking show. Then what a great debut place as well, the, the Emirates Arena in well, Scotland. Well, that's what we said. Like MTK Scotland and Sam Kinnock have done a fantastic job of what they've been doing. We're still working with MTK Scotland and Sam like closely. We're still MTK as a whole. We're all the same team. He's done a great job. But what we're trying to do now is because we're signing bigger fighters and better fighters. No disrespect to the other fighters, but we're going to move on to like the Emirates Arena. There hasn't been a show there for. Six years, I think, till since Ricky uh, Burns, Ricky Burns against Gonzalez when the kid hit his elbow. So it's the top arena in Glasgow, and we're looking on, you know, doing world fight, uh, world title fights there in the future. For people that are kind of maybe c confused about um, when you announced sort of a, is it a second division of MTK Scotland, or is it a completely kind of separate division uh, to what Sam can already does with MTK Scotland? Yeah, it's Sam's sort of doing the small all shows. This one is like the Emirates Arena. It's like 2,000 people in there. We're, look, we're starting off sort of in the netball court. Well, as we get stronger, you know, with the second show and maybe do three or four shows next year, it's just that we're trying to generate and we want to end up in the big stage and doing world title shows here, fights there. So, obviously, Scottish boxing, um, yeah, has been sort of... It's been up and down, isn't it, over the last sort of few years, but there are a lot of good fighters in Scotland. There's some good kids coming through now, mm. and Sam has kept them all busy and active, to be fair to him. You know, but there's a lot of kids signing, some big signings coming, and we just want to sort of bring, do the small holes, a bit like the way Eddie Ayn does it and Frank Warren do it. You know, they start on the small old shows, and then when they're ready for the big stage, you know, you go on the bigger shows, and that's what we're looking on doing ourselves. Okay, so the fighters that you're going to have, uh, personally yourself, on, on these shows, they will be different to uh, fighters that Sam has? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to have like title fights all the time on the bills. I've also got Steve Ormond against uh, jo or George Yashi. That's another title fight that could... I think Yashi's uh, in the top ten in the world as well. So, yeah. So, obviously people know you as a trainer and... Obviously, male stud as well. Yeah. Obviously. Top stud. I've got to apologise to your wife for that as well. Um, but is the promotional side now something that you're really looking to get into, Dan? Yeah, well, for the in the late 80s and like early 90s, my brother was doing world title, show, uh, world title fights in Liverpool for years, working with Barry Ayn and Frank all them years ago. So I'm not, it's not, it's something that I've always been around. So since we're MTK Global, with me and my wife being this, uh, the CEO, it's just a transition now. I'm, I've got my manager's license, promoter's license, so it's just something I'm really, really looking forward to. Is it something where you'll be focusing on the promoting side more so than the training, or, or not necessarily? No, well, that's what I said to you. We had this comp uh, conversation with the team. With me being a trainer, no one has been a trainer, but I, I love boxing. That's my life. That's all we do. So I've got a team around me, Ian Lee, 
Sam as well, and I picked the phone, so we all work close together, and it's not going to interfere with what I'm doing with my training side of it. Okay. So, so it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. But um, it, it's, it is an interesting transition, isn't it, um, to become, I'm not sure that's sort of the last person that sort of did that from how involved you are uh, on the training side yeah, to sort of go on to that promotional side. I know it, it, it is being done, but yeah. at, at but some you don't levels. Realize, but yeah. Because now I'm on the phone to kids on a day-to-day basis, the boxers getting the problems and, you know, trying to sort this out. You don't really realise what goes into it because obviously I go to the gym five days a week, do my thing. But now I'm on the phone constantly, you know, sorting things out for other people, which is, it's busy, but it's good busy. Yeah, but like I said, that transition of issues that you probably maybe weren't aware of before, but now, yeah, you have to take it upon yourself yeah. that you're involved in that kind of thing. But saying that, you've got good people, you've got a good team around me, and we all speak together on a daily basis, maybe too much sometimes, and um, any headaches or anything, we get sorted out, so it's all good. Mm. So, the long-term vision, obviously, which is involves MTK, MTK as a whole is to um, acquire better signings, acquire better shows, um, put on better shows, but I mean, they're doing that now as it is. I mean, the signings that MTK as a whole have had over the last sort of 12 months have been absolutely phenomenal. I mean, it's, so, un- it's unbelievable. Yeah. You look like the Tyson Fury, Billy Joe, and there's kids signing all the time, so it's just going from strength to strength. Yeah, a yeah, lot of is. Olympians, a lot of, yeah top prospects around the world all coming to MTK you now. look at the Kazakhstan kids the sound of the Olympic gold medal yeah. just come you look at Orge Rubio now in Florida it's just it's just going on and on and on it's uh, fantastic yeah it's definitely like a, a positive outlook for the future isn't it it's brilliant brilliant and uh, yeah you'll be doing your thing well, in Scotland we get this one out the way hopefully well it will be a crack and show if we can do one more before Christmas which would be, be ideal especially keeping all the boxes working and next year maybe another four or five shows but uh, get the first one out the way first so the shows you put on in Scotland will they be all televised on Box Nation or is it dependent on well it could be live stream as well yeah live you know, stream obviously yeah. with yourself but this one we want to make a bit of a statement with this one with being on Box Nation being in which is the best arena the Emirates in Glasgow hmm. but obviously we're going to bring all the Glasgow kids through all the boxers from Scotland just not from Glasgow from all, all around Scotland but we're going to bring like an international fight or the title fights will be on it all the time hmm. so it gives it that is there um, a new... <laughs> <laughs> You've set this up, haven't you? Uh, that ain't a, is that a fire drill for us everyone to fucking get out? We'll have to go. <laughs> right, we're going to pick this back up in a second. All right. All right, I don't know what the, the crisis was outside, but... It's the here, that's absolutely boiling. Act, people won't know. It's like being on holiday. It's, it's like being in Dubai or somewhere. Absolutely. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, 24th of August, uh, kind of the debut show for MTK yep. on Box Nation. So it all kicks off from then. And then, yeah, I can only imagine it to get, like I said, stronger and um, just push on and progress. Yeah, everyone's that excited. The team, you know, we've worked hard to get the deal what we've done. Box Nation are coming. It's big time boxing back to Glasgow. And we, we can't wait for it. So am I right in saying your boss is your wife? My boss is my wife, yeah. And now you can see what I deal with on a day-to-day basis. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, I wasn't talking boxing terms. I'm talking about in life. Oh, so I'm, I'm talking in life <laughs> as well. In life as well. Uh, honey, we have a problem. She's yeah. going to ring me in a minute. Yeah, what you said. Yeah, she probably has heard it. I don't know where. Um, but yeah, it's all like I said, it's all progressing nicely. And like I said, from the 24th, um, the show starts That's pretty it. much. We just can't wait to get going again. Definitely. The first show back, big time boxing back to Glasgow. And uh, we all just can't wait. Right. You should talk more, Dan. Do because you know when, you're not, when you're not on the camera, no disrespect, you don't shut up. I've got a face for radio though, haven't I? <laughs> I don't know about that. You should, you should talk more. You, I know, like I, I know. But look, look, I'm not really the interview type of person, but you know, when it's you, it's a different story. We're friends as well, so. No, I don't no. Mind. No, but you know what? I've had this conversation with the team, with MTK. I should get on the camera more. Definitely. Just fix me head and stuff and and get back on, yeah. That's it. Wear a tighter t-shirt. Tighter t-shirt. Get, get the arms out. I'm ready, just they're ready to go. Aren't we're they? good to go. We're good to go. But uh, no, definitely. Um, all right, Danny, listen, thank you very much for talking to me today. And Thanks very much to you. Yeah, we'll definitely join you on the 24th of August uh, for, yeah, like I said, this debut show between MTK and Box Nation. Fantastic. Thanks very much for your time. Catch up with you soon. Coop and Cass is here with Danny Vaughan. Thank you very much. Thanks, Coop.